faced clear and attacked the Rangers' defence. In came Dave McPherson and McAllister crashed to the ground. No penalty, ruled referee Les Mottram. According to him, McAllister was floored outside the box. Judge for yourself here in replay. A close call this for Rangers. Ali Maxwell got down well to hold the resultant free kick from Michael O'Neill. 20 minutes into the match and Rangers went ahead. Robertson's long throw in. Hately glanced it on. Trevor Stephen finished brilliantly. Four minutes later, Hibs were level. McAllister again in the thick of it. Racing off down the right. He took on McPherson, cracked in a low cross and Evans rammed in the equaliser. This was some game now. Gary Stevens crossed from the right and Hately brought out the best in Jim Layton. And typically, Hately was the next name on the score sheet. Minutes into the second half, he managed to make head contact with Ian Ferguson's intended shot at goal and steered it past the helpless Layton. Rangers Ukrainian Alexei Mikhailoshenko almost made it 3-1. Leighton blocked his effort with his legs. Then the Hibs keeper was pulled out of goal as Rangers tried to finish it. Stevens did well and crossed from the right. Stephen Tweed blocked Hately's header on the line. All credit to Hibs, they battled to the end. Darren Jackson almost set up Keith Wright with a chance. Mikhailoshenko with the timely intervention. We started well in that gym, I thought. Uh, got, got a good Trevor Stephen goal. Uh, but all credit to Hibs, I came right back. And uh, Kevin McAllister did well out in the wing. Played a great ball in, and all of a sudden you're at 1 1. And uh, their tails were up for a bit after that. But um, we got a bit of a freak goal in the second half. Fergie had a shot, looked like it was hitting the corner flag, and Big Mark uh, managed to direct it into the net. So uh, but after that, we played not bad again, and um, we contained them quite well. So I thought we ran out where they won us in the end.